Hi, so right before February ended, I took a trip to LA to get away from the frozen tundra that I call home. And even though my friend Lucy told me that it was going to be sunny and warm, I remember packing and just repacking my bags because the concept of summer in the middle of February wasn't exactly something I could wrap my head around. We had to be at the airport by 5, which meant waking up at 3.45 and having breakfast across from this really scary baby poster. I remember looking outside just after we landed and everything was so sunny and bright and green and I couldn't help but just sit and picture my snow boots sitting back in my dorm. And I thought to myself the same thing that occurs to me without fail every year after winter finally leaves. Summer is real, it exists, I didn't make it up. And I tried to jump out of the car to pick flowers and hug trees, but Lucy's mom had already activated the car's child locks. And then we went to Knott's Berry Farm, which is this amusement park with tons of spinny rides, and we went on every single spinny ride. And Lucy really likes the spinny rides, but I don't really like the spinny rides so much, and I rode too many spinny rides that day, and it didn't work out so well. There were tar pits, too. These are the La Brea tar pits! That's the La Brea tar! Look at it! Was I in the shot? I'm pretty sure it's a traffic cone covered in tar! There it is! That's really boring. They've fenced off the tar because it's just so valuable, they don't want the public messing with it. There it is, in all of its asphalty greatness. The best thing about travel, in my opinion, is that it forces me to live in the present. I tend to get caught up in my routine and I just end up getting stuck, like tar on a dire wolf. New places distract me from thinking about the laundry I have to do or the homework that still needs finishing. Physical distance can be a really wonderful thing. We spent a lot of time in supermarkets, actually. I have a lot of footage of us in supermarkets. We're in a supermarket in Calabasas, which is a an area in the mountains north of Malibu, and we're buying something called a frog. Look at the, look at the smiley face cookies. See that price? You see that price? Those are, that's a dollar per box. That's a dollar per box of blueberries. Can you believe that? I guess the part about California that stood out to me the most wasn't really anything particularly unique about the place itself, although there were chickens and lizards and cats and chickens and trees and cakes and a few tan shop and more of the same lizards. It was my ability to drive past the ocean and through the mountains and to not have to think about where I was going and how long I was going to be there and whether or not that was okay based on, you know, how much stuff I'd managed to accomplish during the day. I didn't have to accomplish anything, in fact. And that was exotic enough within itself.